MCC recently got a playlist update to give you a chance to earn some lovely nameplates along with the CE flighting time schedule was just basically announced along with a special treat with that. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. Like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the channel a lot, guys. And if you want to update with everything going on in the community, make sure you tap subscribe, guys. So let's get right into this info here. So with the recent playlist update in the MCC, there were three major changes that happened to this uh, well, lovely game we get to play. One thing is the Winter Contingency playlist. If you guys have had a chance to play it, you might have recognized that the XP gains are pretty weak or to almost null when it comes to playing that mode, trying to get your 10, getting your 15 matches in to get both your nameplates. Uh, it's a fun mode. If you guys haven't tried it, definitely give it a go while it's still live. It's going to be live up until the 18th of February, so make sure you guys get your games in while you can. 15 games gets you the Focus Rifle nameplate and the Winter Contingency nameplate. Both awesome. I recently unlocked both of them, so I'm happy about that. And plus, Freeze tag just a fun mode, man. Give your chance, give it a go, see how the XP gains are, but hopefully it'll be a little bit more fair for you people out there playing that mode. Talking about new modes coming to the MCC, we have a new mode that recently just came out today, February 12th, which is uh, Firefight Doubles, which is basically two people jump in, you get to play some Firefight. It's pretty awesome, and it goes towards the Valentine's Day event, which will give you the Put a Ring on It nameplate, if you guys haven't seen that. Uh, it's pretty sweet looking, but very festive and part of the whole, uh, you know, theme of Valentine's Day and all that good stuff. And so you definitely get a chance to jump on that. There's multiple new game modes when it comes to Firefight Doubles as well. For Firefight Doubles, you have Score Attack, Grunt Apocalypse, Skirmageddon, Crash Sight, and Sniper Attack. Now this does look like a fun variation of Firefight. Um, definitely would like to play some Grunt Apocalypse because it's just fun just having swarms of just overwhelming amounts of Grunt coming at you and just be able to take out just a million of those guys. Just getting the crazy metals popping up is always just a good amount of time, which actually probably would be really great for XP gains when it comes to the, uh, the MCC there. It might not be the best on time efficiency when it comes to getting your 10 matches in for the Valentine's Day event, but it certainly will be a nice chill way to go about doing that. But but if you guys don't want to play in your firefight, don't worry. There is another multiplayer option for you all in the Valentine's Day event. Starting on February 12th, running until the 18th. So you don't have much time, guys, to do this. Uh, you have the requirement of completing 10 match-made games in any social or ranked 2v2 modes on multiplayer and you will receive the put a ring on it nameplate. Same thing with the firefight doubles. You'll get play your 10 matches, you'll get your uh, put a ring on it nameplate as well there. Now keep in mind this nameplate does not unlock immediately. I've seen some people confused in the chat there saying I put my matches in, where's my nameplate? Those nameplates are actually given out manually and I believe they kind of give them out on a weekly basis. So uh, I think probably like check every Tuesday or something like that you make sure to keep an eye on that. I mean, I got my uh, nameplates for the winter, winter contingency uh, recently. I didn't get it as soon as I got my 15 matches in. Had to wait a few days, but then I ended up getting, I think, on the on Tuesday. So uh, keep that in mind, guys, when those roll out, they come out in waves for you guys. So keep in mind on that. Now, the only question is begs that be answered is, who's going to be my Valentine? And we also basically have an announcement of when the CE flighting will happen on the MCC as postums on the recent social stream posted up and uh, went up there and talked about a little bit MCC and we had this little clip for you guys to enjoy. So, but I do, I do have one piece of information that uh, both the pub team and Brian wanted me to share. Um, so one of the fun things that's going to be coming in uh, with flighting this weekend um, we got a ton of feedback from the community like since MCC came out and uh, Halo uh, Combat Evolved Anniversary about wanting the, mm. uh, the multiplayer uh, original audio sounds from CE brought into MCC and Halo Anniversary. Uh, when the flighting kicks off, you're going to be able to play uh, original CE MP in MCC with the original audio. So those of you that have been asking for audio, you got it. 
So yeah, that essentially confirms that the CE flighting will happen this weekend, which would probably be the 14th through the 16th right there for you guys on February. I'm super excited about that, as you probably could tell, because I do love me some CE. It's the game that got me into Halo. I remember the first time playing this on Christmas Day of 2001. It was an experience to be had for sure that will always stick within my memories so it gave me a big get a chance to relive that in higher fidelity and now apparently better audio as well really looking forward to that guys and so uh but the big concern i have is the progression system and what's going to be in that because in ce the only kind of customization you had was choosing your color and there is going to be no retroactive locking of content in the mcc so they're not going to be unlocking colors when it comes to the progression system so it'll be really interesting to see what they do for that now keep in mind i will certainly make a video for you guys to know what that progression system looks like how it's going to work how's the xp dealing now and everything in between so make sure you subscribe to the channel guys keep yourself up to date with that so the content that's going to be in this is going to be one of the bigger flights we've actually ever had for halo it's good, but at least compared to what we had for reach so we're gonna have campaign and multiplayer for the content be able to play for ce for campaign we're gonna have the missions truth and reconciliation silent cartographer assault on the control room and 343 guilty spark some classic ce missions to get a chance to jump in and enjoy of that and don't forget these are also going to be cea on top of the original ce so keep that in mind guys super excited about this and also we're gonna get a chance to play some og multiplayer when it comes to ce we're gonna be able to play some 8v8 blood gulch chill out 2v2 and 4v4 damnation 2v2 and 4v4 and hang them high 2v2 4v4 and 8v8 along with prisoner 2v2 4v4 and sidewinder 8v8 now if you guys remember how the multiplayer played back in the day uh blood gulch is where boys became men because that was the the map to play when it came to ce for sure now i cannot wait to get a chance to jump on and just play blood gulch 8v8 and sidewinder 8v8 over and over again during this fighting test guys i will certainly be able to stream that and i uh, will be making content on it as well if we get invited obviously but if we do make sure to follow me on twitter and on twitch guys link in the description down below to find those on there and i uh, will have be making plenty of content for you guys on it as well so make sure you subscribe to the channel guys keep yourselves up to date with how the game plays the updates when it comes to that and also what the progression system is looking like but don't forget we're also getting a little bit of a halo reach treat along with this flight as they're going to be testing out the new crouching mechanic in halo reach so if you guys are curious of what changes are they making with reach's crouching mechanics i'm sure you're planning to go like yeah i can crouch just fine what are you talking about well the difference is is that what they want people to be able to do is be able to move at full walking speed and crouch at the same time basically when you're walking you can't crouch you go crouch because the, this issue was brought up on pc because when you're those inputs of w a s and d you only have full movement speed compared to a controller where you can kind of adjust how fast you're moving forward or side to side and things like that and so adding things like crouch strafing into your shot it's a lot easier to do on controller than on keyboard and mouse it's basically not possible in uh functionality of the whole process so they're looking to change that so where you'll be able to be walking at full speed then you can crouch rather than walking at a slow speed or a standstill and then crouching like it is currently in halo reach on the mcc um, now i wonder why it's to take a whole flight to do this when you can probably just make a specialty playlist for it maybe but anyways though i'm not too excited about the new crouching mechanic i kind of like it how it is right now because uh, in halo 5 i find the crouching mechanic is a little too free to do or it really gets annoying trying to deal with people strafing like this like i'm strafing guys we're doing it though we'll see how it goes so if that's what people want we'll give it to the people you know kind of thing but anyways i'm super excited about ce flighting coming around get a chance to play this on pc guys and i just cannot wait to get jump in and play some classic halo experience with the original audio on top of that which is really as i appreciate the team working on that encoding issue that's been going on with the mcc for quite some time and so i'm just Let's get the going. Let's get this flight going, guys. I want to stream it. I want to play it. Let's do this. But anyways, guys, if you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's know you want to see some more content like this. If you're new to the channel, make sure to tap subscribe, guys. Keep yourself up to date. And if you miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. I got a link to the playlist of the recent news that's been going on with the MCC. So check that out, guys, if you miss anything from me. And also, I'll catch you guys in the next video.
Peace out.